I think we can all see why, on behalf of the United States Golf Association and the American Junior Golf Association, it is my honor and pleasure to present Hannah Berman with the 2015 USGA AJGA President's Leadership Award. Sorry, I didn't stop crying for my video. Um, okay. Okay. Thank you so much for that introduction. I haven't seen that video before, so it was something really cool to see. Um, I don't really see myself through that lens, so it's nice to see that what I do, people really do appreciate it. Um, as you saw, I started my charity work when I was 12. I started that honestly because I needed community service project for my bat mitzvah, and I wanted to do something unique. Um, that used golf as my starting place. It was through this process that I learned how important giving back is to my family's culture and to this great game. I only have five minutes, so I don't want to stand here and tell you about what I did or how I did it. You can see that on the website. Besides, this isn't about me, just, just a little bit. But what I want to share with you is that giving back is important. And as I learned early on, is that people like us can really make an impact in our communities and more globally. When I started hitting it with Hannah in my first seat donation station, I couldn't even spell AJGA. I didn't know there were awards. I did this and continue to do this because I know it's the right thing to do. And it does feel good inside. That's true. Um, while we all get recognized for what we do inside the ropes, it is nice to be recognized for what we do off the course. Um, congratulations, Nick, for your hard work, too. You really deserve it. I um, got to know you a little bit. You're a really deserving guy. Um, there's a lot of people to thank. And I want to thank the USGA and AJGA, um, certainly for this award, but more importantly for promoting and celebrating the important part giving back plays in our community. Um, the efforts you put into this and selling the game really got me focused and helped me help a lot of people. Thank you to the AJGA tournament staff and player services here and in Georgia for being, sorry, I can't read my writing, great at what you do for all of us. I sliced my finger open today on the course, so this is a little difficult. Okay. Among all the folks behind the scenes of this award, I want to thank Beth Doctor for all she does to run Leadership Link's program and for the guidance she has given along the way. I know she's not here, but she's fantastic. I, this process is a lot thanks to her. Um, thank you, Rolex, for hosting this dinner and for your commitment to junior golf. Um, I want to thank the charities I work with, Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, Child Cancer Fund, First Tee of Jacksonville Family Promise, for welcoming a 12-year-old girl and her crazy ideas with open arms and open hearts. I want to thank Beth McCarthy, our friend who passed away from CF. I miss you every day, and I know you're so proud of me and your family as well. You were my inspiration to start all of this. And Cami, a 7-year-old CF fighter who I met just a few months ago. She was the girl you saw on the video. Uh, she does have CF, and you never know it by looking at her. That's probably the hardest part. Um, She's so strong, and it's really great to see her being as positive as she is through all of this. Um, it's easy to get down after a bad round or a bad shot or a bad tournament or 35 putts for the first two days of this tournament. But by knowing these two brave people and knowing what they go through every day, I have learned true strength, courage, and heroism. It is fun to hit a perfect hybrid over water to an island green, but it's not courageous. It's great to drop a 50-foot putt for a round saving birdie, but it's not heroic. True courage is going through breathing treatments every day just to make it to the next. True heroism is, making, is taking countless pills just so you can spend one more day with your kids. True strength is waiting endlessly for the phone to ring, notifying you that your new lungs have arrived for your transplant. Thank you to Beth, Cami, and all the people like you that helped me keep my bad days in perspective. To the person who nominated me for this award, Bill Hughes, a huge hug. Bill sets the example for what golf is all about. Hard work, dedication, passion, caring about others. Not sure how I fell into Mr. Hughes' good graces, but there's no one more grateful than I for that honor. Bill has been a mentor and inspiration, and more importantly, a friend. Thank you for being there and caring and pushing me in the right direction and in the right way. Thank you to my coach, John Berardi, for your wisdom, your patience, which is so high, and I really appreciate that, um, for guiding me the way a coach should. John, you are so much more than a coach, um, and I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. Thank you to Bill Nelson, who even though our relationship is new, I wish I found you two years ago. 
Thank you to my high school team coach, Clint Finley. I walked onto your team from another and you embraced me and made me captain as a junior, putting me immediately into the fire and teaching me I could be a leader, that setting example matters and that fun matters. Thank you to my friends. You all have never stopped encouraging me no matter what. Um, I know I've missed countless events, but y'all understand it's a dream and dream takes hard work. Um, I couldn't ask for better supporters. I love you all. Thank you to the staff and members and volunteers here at Sun River. This place is nothing short of spectacular. It's Definitely not like Florida. Um, like all courses and people who host us, there's a lot of hard work that goes into events like these. Uh, this place is truly special and it reminds me of how lucky all of us are not to just be good at the sport we love, but to be able to travel and play and see places like this that we would never have gotten to experience if it weren't for this incredible game and our incredible good fortune. That brings me to my mom and dad. Um, you guys are my number one supporters. Um, I would never be where I am without you. Um, thank you for believing in me, even when I didn't. Thank you for traveling with me. Thank you for providing me with everything that I have. It's everything more that I could have asked for. I love you both. OK, I think that's all the thank yous that I have. Um, I want to recognize all the players here, the best of the best AJGA. Um, you guys have inspired me since I was nine. I can only hope to be as good as you are or win as many HHAs as you have. Um, after six years of being among the smallest girls out here, I finally caught up to you in height, and I only hope to someday catch up to you in ability. And this award, what I have done outside the ropes, as you have inspired me, I have done partially to hopefully inspire you. So as we tend to do in golf, let's take a look at the numbers, which is not my strength, so just be patient with me. There are roughly 140 players in this tournament. Most of you average about three birdies per round. If each of you were in the Birdies for Charity program and raised $100 donations per birdie, just those of us in this room right now would raise $42,000. That's a lot. So this means that $42,000 could build two fresh water wells in Africa that serves 500 people for 20 years. $42,000 feeds 300 starving children in America for a whole year. $42,000 provides treatment for three kids with CF. $42,000 pays for a typical eight-week chemo treatment for three children with cancer. $42,000 gives a good night's sleep and a full day of services for 20 homeless children for a year. Okay, there we go. $42,000 gives a chance for 20 kids without the means to play an AJGA event through the ACE grant program, an opportunity we sometimes might take for granted. Again, that is all per round. So all today, all yesterday, that could have all been done. There are more than 3,500 kids like us listed on National Junior Golf Scoreboard. I realize it's unrealistic to think every person could participate or make three birdies around, but imagine what we could do to change the world even if just 10% of the junior golfers made just one birdie around at $100 per birdie. Now, I know many of you are already involved in your own charities or leadership links, and some do it more quietly than others, and for that, we are all incredibly grateful. And for those of you who don't or don't know how to get started, what I really hope to do is inspire you to maybe go home tonight and sign up for Birdies for Charity or convince a friend and make this tournament the start for all of us, not just a few of us. Pick something you care about, fighting a disease, providing water, helping less fortunate kids get involved in this game. Again, it's not about the award. It's just about using our collective talents as just kids to make the world a better place, perhaps when the world needs us most. Again, thank you so much for this incredible honor and for this opportunity to play in this event. Um, thank you so much and good luck tomorrow to everyone.